Hello everybody, I'm Nate Asher and welcome back to an exciting episode of the Wind Wicker HD. I say that with sarcasm because today is the day that we've all been waiting for. We're going to go around and water all of those uh, withered trees that the Koroks planted. Yay. Alright, just to start things off, I do have a Zelda shirt on today. It is the Hard for Games... Still waiting for Ura Zelda. Ura Zelda is supposed to, was supposed to be the third in the series of Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, and then there's Ura Zelda, which is Japanese for the other side, or like another Zelda. And I've got my John Deere <laughs> Zelda hat on. Uh, but, anyways. To start things off, we need to make our way to the um, Forest Haven. I would love to be able to do this clip. I don't know if I can, so we won't. There's a clip where you can uh, clip yourself in like below the water and swim through the bottom of this and just go right to the loading zone to get into the forest haven. Pretty cool. I am not a Wind Waker uh, speedrunner though, nor do I plan to be, so I haven't really put much time into it, I'm being honest, but... No, oh, are you serious? Eh. Didn't have the wind going the right way, that could have been bad. Guess we'll just do it the boring way. Alright, first things first, we need to waste a fairy. Good, your bottle with forest water. You can use it multiple times, but it loses its forest freshness after just 30 minutes. After that, it becomes normal water. Uh, yeah. <laughs> forest freshness. Uh, 
and we'll just we'll just ride the water all the way down. Get out of here, buddy. I'm trying to preserve my forest freshness. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and cut between all these because we have to sail like pretty much all over the map. So I will see you guys at the first wither tree. Yo, what up? Alright, here we are. Just for a little bit of entertainment purposes we're we're gonna keep the like the islands in just so you get to see how you get up to each one because each one is pretty scattered but I believe we've been in here before What up, buddy? Yes, stand tall and erect. Thank you very much, swordsman. You must find seven more of my fellow Koroks. You pour that forest water on all of our trees, then the trees will surely grow strong again. But remember, in just 27 minutes and 13 seconds, the forest water you have will turn into plain water, so hurry up and look for my fellow Koroks. How the heck do you know how long ago I... <laughs> Never mind. Okay. See you guys at the next one. I know we're not here yet, but look how pretty the the water is. Got a nice orange going into a gray now. Pretty nice. I believe the next one is going to be at our cabana. Nice. Been a while since we've been here. Her name was Coco, Coco Cabana. Thank you very much, Swordsman. You must find six more. Did I go too far? Oh, there you are, buddy. Hiding. Check this out. Yeah. See you guys in the next one. What the heck? We got five? Five right next to each other. <laughs> okay. Taking a little detour. Nice. 
Nice. Cool. That's one, mateys. Alright, well, that was a cool 250. It's all of them together. I don't know if we've been to this island yet. Uh, yeah, because we have to do all of these. Eh, yeah, we'll do it, sure, because I don't really want to come back. You're welcome. Thank you very much, swordsman. i just find five more. They will surely grow. Blibbity blobbity blah. Alright, so to do this, we have to get multiple items. We're gonna do iron boots, the hammer, and I think that's it. There's the iron boots. Hammer. Slash that. There we go. You have to do them really quick. Is per this thing. Uh, you must activate all four switches on this island, and you must activate them all swiftly. Danger will visit all who fail to heed my warning. The Seer. S.W. Watch it. <laughs> what is up with all these Seers? They never, like, elaborate on that. Remember there's a Seer, um, who told us, like, how to light the lighthouse on Windfall? Oh, well. Let's see what's in here. Uh. Don't mess with James, dude.
Alright. See you guys in the next one. Yo, what up? So, here we are. Here we are. So let me know in the comments, I've been um, wanting to know, like, would you guys be interested in watching a Legend of Zelda randomizer? Like, where I go around and, like, all the items are jumbled up, and you have to beat the game in a different order, and you have to actually think, instead of just being awesome at the game. Thank you very much, Swordsman, you must find four more of my fellow Koroks. Will do, buddy. All right. You guys remember this island, right? Well, I can't believe this is our thirty-second episode. It doesn't feel like it. I feel like we just started. Because we have. No, I'm just kidding. There's really not that much more in the game. Hence why I'm going around and doing these little things before we do like the last, like, fifth of the game. Thank you very much, Swordsman. You must find three more. Alright, guys. I'll see you there. It's raining on me. Okay. Missed it. Fingers are all oily because I just, um, I just made pizza. All right, get over there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Have no fear. I bring water for the cold times. Thank you very much, Swordsman. You must find two more of my fellow Clorox. And we will. Because the last two are like right next to each other, so that's cool. See you guys there. Yo, what up? Alright, so the seventh one is over here inside. See, that's where we went and got the the thing for the uh, what am I what am I trying to it's, this is the mother and child uh, mother and child aisles. We went in and found the mother of uh, fairies. Oh, by the way, this trading sequence. Wait, can we do that right now? Yeah, we'll go ahead. Do it up. Oh, hang on. No. Keep it. I'm what's called a traveling merchant. Just a poor wanderer cruising the world in search of rare objects of all sorts. New and old, strange and unsettling. You know, pretty, pretty much, you know, the coolest guy ever. I detected a scent wafting from this island that suggested to me that there might be something of value here. So I sailed my tiny raft all this way from far, far away. But the high rock wall on the main island blocks my way, so it seems as though I won't be able to get much further. What a disagreeable turn of events. Yeah, dude, it really sounds like it sucks. However, my boy, that delivery bag of yours smells to me as if it might well be home to rare and unique items. Hmm. Do you have any curios that might be worthy of selling in a shop? Might you trade them to me? 
Someday I'm going to open myself a shop. A huge shop. No, no. A mega super store. Trying to find goods to sell. So, can you show me what you've got on you? I absolutely can. Huh? Why, that's a town flower, right? In that case, would you be interested in trading that for this sea flower? Sure. Most agreeable, then my fee will be... Yeah, that'll be 20 rupees on the dot. Thanks, that squares us. Here's your item, as promised. Hold out both of your hands. You got a sea flower. The scent of the sea wafts from the delicate petals of this flower from an exotic, far-off land. So by trading your goods for my goods, you and I have formed a merchant's oath. So from this moment forward, I shall honor our merchant's oath by sending shipment of my product to the Windfall Island shop. Thanks again. Alright, well, that's one of those guys down. I think there's uh, four. So, uh, we might finish that up in the next episode. Because this episode is all about the Quarks. Nice. Thank you very much, Swordsman. Just find one more of my fellow Quarks. If you pour that forest water on all of our trees, the trees will surely grow strong again. But remember, in just ten minutes, ten and a half minutes, mind you. Alright, well. One more, guys. One more. Which I might as well just go ahead and keep the, uh... I'm not gonna cut for this one, because it's right over here. Just right over here. You can like barely see the island way out there, but it's there. I believe it's... I think this is actually the... The one with the... Um, the choose. Nope. Not the choose. Oh, that's my friend Tim. Dude. I'll play Tim. Tim and I usually play uh, games at night since I work. Um, I work nights and. We like to, uh, I have to sleep during the day, so. Alright, guys, here we go. Final Korok. But before we do that, I want to blow up all this stuff. Actually, this one I think I can just pick up. Hey, there's a guy in there. Do you mind? Hey, I found a hole. Dude, he just ran out into the water and killed himself. Is that what they do whenever you find the, the one with the hole? Like, ah, oh, shoot, he found it. Yeah, I know, another one of these. Don't worry. I shall speed up this one.
Actually, do I want to speed up this one? Because this one's a little different. Hey, man. little different, different chest, and it didn't take as long. Alright. Oh. Alright guys, here we go, last one. I was trying to show off that cutscene, but yeah. Peace of heart. Swordsman, come see how my he how healthy my forest tree has become. Wow, I'm so happy. Thank you so much. <laughs> the tree has recovered all of its vigor. I like how you can literally look at it. Press A to look. <laughs> look at that face. Uh, Alright. Well, anyways. Thank you all so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. I would really appreciate it. I did a lot of sailing for y'all. <laughs> um... And if you uh, missed the last episode, it's probably because you're not subscribed. So go ahead, take two seconds right now, and just subscribe. It's free. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye!